All right, here we go. So what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to show you how to have um, a person's face, it can be anyone, and um, a background. In this case, I'm going to do flowers. Um, oh, where are my flowers? Um, just so that you get an idea about, oh, there they are, um, how you can have um, images inside someone's head. So here we go. So um, first thing we're going to do is um, it's always a good idea to make a copy of what you're going to do. Um, it might not seem obvious at present, but basically in Photoshop, what you want to do a lot of the time is use high contrast or an effect or something so you can see the edges easier so you can work on it to work out shapes, but you don't actually want it to affect the original. Um, so anyway, if, you, if you're unfamiliar with Photoshop a little bit, you, you know, on this side you have your your um, layers. And if you can't see them, press F7 or go to Window and go to Layers. And all I've done is I've gone Layer, Duplicate, Layer. So I've got two of uh, this model. And what we're going to do is we're going to have flowers inside her head, almost like it's like a window. And it's not that hard to do. So... All I've done is I've copied it, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Image Adjustments Threshold, and it's going to turn her into a kind of a stencil, and the reason I'm doing that is so that I'm going to get the basic shapes of her, and um, see if I do too much, it's all black. Um, I just want the basic shapes of her like that, and I might just get my brush tool and turn it into black and just do a little bit more of that. Um, it might not seem obvious to you why I'm doing this at this point, but um, trust me. Okay, so basically we've got this copy, this version and this version. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the magic wand tool, and I'm going to go around here. And I'm, oh no, actually no, an easy way of doing this is going select color range and select everything that's white. Everything that's white, um, I'm going to remove. And so what I've left with now, if I turn off this original layer, so I'm just going to turn that off for a second. So the only thing I've left with is this black outline. It's a complete silhouette. It's slightly simplified. It's made some of the hair a little bit thicker in places. It's simplified it down to a, to a block. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this over the top of my flowers. And I might change the... I don't really want to change the shape of it that much, but if I go Command-T in a Mac or Control-T if I'm on Windows, and hold down shift, I can change the size. And I'll choose an area that's kind of cool. Um, so I have as much texture in there. If you want, you can decrease the opacity a little bit so you can see through what you're going to do. So obviously, I think those two flowers are possibly the best bit. And this is the important part. So double click. I'm happy with that. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go to the uh, magic wand tool, and I'm going to select everything that's black there, easier. Or I can do what I did before, select color range, and again, just choose, well, actually, more importantly, I have to do that. Turn off that layer so it's just the black, and go select color range. So basically what I'm saying to the computer is just choose everything that's black. And there it's done it. So you can see it, hopefully you can see it sort of shimmering there. But in fact, we're not going to cut that out. We're going to keep that shape so when I turn that off, you can still see that amazing silhouette shape. It's quite detailed. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to cut it from the background. So I'm going to cut that. So what I've done is I'm going Control uh, X or Command X and I'm cutting out the flowers. And I'm going to bring them back into here. Now I know it's a different size because the two uh, the flowers are slightly smaller. But now I can increase that um, until it's the same size again. And there we go. Uh, now I can get rid of the black version. So now I've just got the real version left and the flowers. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to swap these layers over so the actual original is on the top and below that is the flowers. So that's what the flowers look like. Okay. Um, so obviously that is one way of doing it and you can get the silhouette of the person. And um, just 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 for argument's sakes, one way you could do it, which isn't a very good way to do it, is that you could use the eraser tool. 
I'm erasing layer one, see this layer one, this layer zero, and I'll erase a little bit and like eventually I can just sort of like have her eye and her nose come out. Okay. And um, I'm doing this very quickly and I'm trying to show you just how badly this would look because this isn't what I want to do. Although um, it gives you an idea about what we're going to work towards. So obviously this isn't really what I'd, I'd say is good photoshopping. Um, I'm doing it on a low opacity. So here we go. It's, this is a very hard brush now and I'm, I'm deleting everything. That, and it, I don't have to stay inside the lines because there's only two layers, right? So that's one way of doing it, but that's, um, I'll just do it here just for argument's sake, but that's not really what I want to to do. I'm just going to go into my S3 and go back into that. Um, that's another really important uh, window to have is the history window. But in actual fact, I'm going to do something else. I'm going to put the woman on top and I'm going to open this up. Um, to create another layer and I'm actually going to put on black so um oh sorry uh that's the other way around sorry I'm gonna press so so the flowers are on top the lady is behind and what I'm going to do is this this little uh toggle down here in your windows um area so it's a layer mask and with this layer mask um I'm going to choose a different brush a little bit of a, a nicer brush a little bit smaller a little bit softer um, with a little bit less opacity because I want to be a, a, a bit of a light touch and what I'm doing is I'm going to very very slowly and carefully bring out um, the eye okay and uh, the important part around the nose I don't have to stay right on top remember for this to work and the lips and maybe just a little bit of the jaw but not too much now you might say this is just like the erase tool, but in actual fact there's a big advantage because as we're doing this, we are seeing a very important um, part of this is that there's this other layer window coming up here and so in, I can see a black shape sort of emerging here. So I'll just do a really obvious thing across here like this, like a big triangle. You can see that emerge here. Of course I'm not going to do that because that looks awful. I'm going to go Command Z. Um, I'm going to decrease my opacity a bit more because um, I'm getting to the point where I want to keep things quite nice and light and and and, uh, and even. But um, I'm just going to go across these areas a little bit softer, just to just to sort of like maybe tie in. So like you see that pedal now. Now things are starting to work. So I'm not going to go across that pedal that much. I'm going to let that pedal come through. But now that I've kind of like been thinking like, oh, that would be a good idea. And like, you know, that's what happens in art sometimes is that you start doing something and then you get a different idea as you're doing it. And that's okay. That's great. But now I've kind of mucked that bit up because I got too much of your nose, but it's not going to matter because in actual fact, what a masking layer is doing is that it's stopping this top layer, the flower layer from coming in and um, blocking the second layer. So I can change to white now, and I can get those areas back. So they're going to turn more to the other one. And as I'm doing that, now I'll do another obvious one. If I just went over the top, or something really ridiculous like that, you see a little white patch, a little white dot appearing in that. Again, that's not what I would recommend to do, so I'm going to undo that. Um, and so in using black and white, um, and you can just change them over here, you can't get black and white, like say choose some crazy color. Um, you can very easily go back to black and white with a, a simple click. And you can slowly, oops, no, uh, black, sorry. Using black, I can get the uh, bottom layer through. And using white, I can get the top layer through. Maybe that's an easy way of thinking about it. Um, so you see, it's quite, a, it's quite a cool process. And you can, if your opacity is very low, um, you can be very, um, very discerning with where you want to put it. So now I, I want my hair to come along here, but I don't want to go across that flower, you see. So you can be quite selective and it can turn out to be quite fun. 
Um, if you've got these little extra bits that you'd never wanted in the first place, you can easily just get rid of those. That's, that's very easy. If it's not, if it's coming out too slow for you, you can change it to a hard brush or a larger brush or a, a better flow. We can play around with the flow and all those other things, just like you know, normally would with a, any other kind of brush. So those areas up there, I want it to look more naturalistically here. Uh, but it's up to you though. I mean, like maybe, maybe you don't. Um, personally, I am going to let a lot of these flowers um, come through. But I'm also going to be aware of like bringing a bit more skin tone here. And that's going to follow the, the form of the plant. Um, so you kind of get what I'm what I'm, what I'm doing here. So maybe more maybe more hair around here, but it's it's all it's all up to you how you how you do it. But with this masking um, approach, you have far more control over it because if you make a mistake, you simply change colors and then you can get the original color back. So I hope that makes sense to you, um, and we'll hope uh, hopefully you'll be able to make some really interesting images uh, this way.